Good morning and welcome. Today I am going to talk about my proposal for a thesis project, which is titled Generative Adversarial Network Cans to Generate New Samples for WSA Image Segmentation Using Neural Networks. Uh, who is presenting is Luis Jose Mandilla Santa Cruz. Introduction. First of all, this thesis project investigate GAN as a way to generate synthetic data, to fix data sets, and improve the accuracy achieved by neural networks on CAD architectures. Well, in this context, Medical images analysis is actually a living revolution because the continuous increment of the artificial intelligence techniques. In this context, the most ambitious application is related to computed eye diagnosis or CAT systems. So, these applications are usually focused on medical diagnosis and the principal objective is reduce the time required to identify some diseases, for example, breast cancer, liver cancer, pancreas, pancreas cancer, brain cancer, skin cancer, and others. Well, some researchers talk about this subject However, we can see in this image the principal objective of CAD system is to get raw data, process it, and get finally a prediction. For example, in this image, we can see a WSA image, uh, an autoencoder neural network, and finally the label assigned by uh, the autoencoder. Well, there are some types of data sources that we can use for this research. For example, we have computerized tomography, positron emission tomography, histopathology, RNA sequences, mammography, ultrasound images, electronic health records, magnetic resonances, endoscopy ultrasound, diffusion tensor imaging, functional magnetic resonance imaging, and dermoscopy. There are some sources that are, that are cited on many papers. However, this kind of data are associated to determinated diseases, for example, for breast cancer is usually used mammography, WSA images, RNA sequences, and others. And this graphic summarizes some data that is usually used for detect or predict or work with a specific disease. Well, the CAD systems usually have five steps as a global methodology for medical image analysis. The first step is the raw data. The second step is data preprocessing. The third step is region of interest extraction. The fourth step is future extraction. And the fifth step is is usually classification, segmentation, and others. Oh. This, this proposal is focused on data preprocessing. We have many tasks that we can use for this step. So we can use, for example, precise imaging. We have many methods to do that. Uh, we can use noise removal. We can use also data augmentation and normalization. Well, we will focus on this 
is that because it's the most important because this step will generate some data that we can use to train some neural network architectures. So in, under this context, the most important is data augmentation. We have two approaches. The first one are traditional methods or traditional approach. And the second one is GAN approach. Well, subject and hypothesis. Well, the subject is the use of generative and virtual networks, GANs, to generate new samples to increase the contained characteristics into the data sets. Basically, generate new samples that have enough characteristics to get importance or get uh, an interesting characteristic to add to the data set. So the hypothesis that we have three hypotheses. The first one is it's possible to establish a, a statistical measure between synthetic images in order to identify which one has more or less characteristics. Well, we can understand this in the next slides. So the second one is we can improve the data set quality by adding new synthetic samples. And the third one is integrate synthetic images into the data set can improve the obtained results achieved by neural networks. Well, hypothesis representation. With this image, I want to show you what's the main problem associated with the building data sets. So, in the left side, we have a WSA image and a small piece of a huge WSA image. In a regular job, we have to divide the WSA image into many samples that sample are called tiles, and that tiles has many patterns, and that patterns are associated with a distribution curve. However, that distribution curve is many interesting because many samples could be overrepresented or underrepresented. And the main problem is if we want to train a neural network with that kind of data, we could have many troubles such as overfitting or underfitting. In that context, we have to include some new samples to try to solve this problem, basically. So we need to include, for example, some samples to the areas that are underrepresented in order to get a better results in into a classification or segmentation jobs. Objectives. The general objective is develop a new methodology that allows us generating new samples using GANs networks in order to improve the data set quality for WSA image segmentation. The specific objectives are first, study GANs neural networks. Second, identify databases to use and build data sets for training and testing. The third step is propose a methodology to evaluate synthetic data generated by GANs in order to improve data set quality. The fourth step is to train and test regular segmentation architectures such as UNET to segment WSA images and finally evaluate the results. Well, the state of the art. The state of the art has many papers, many research articles. However, 
The most interesting ones are related to CAD architecture for breast cancer detection because that paper presents the basic five steps. Here we have the papers presented by Tari, Nan, and Dean. And to, be, to focus on our subject, basically, we have two perspectives for data augmentation. The traditional techniques that involve operations such as flipping, cropping, rotation, translation, alteration of brightness, color space transformations, transformation using kernel filters, random erasing, radial transformation, color casting, and others. But first of all, we are going to see some traditional techniques and its uses at the state of the art. For example, we have the paper presented by Veles. He presents a new technique which generate a new sample using previous two samples. And that sample belongs to the same class. So SAC presents a hybrid proposal that combines data augmentation and pixel-to-pixel -pix architecture to generate new samples in order to classify images. It's really proposed a self-supervised architecture that solved the unlabeled whole slide image problem. He uses a teacher a student architecture. He trained the, the teacher architecture using regular data augmentation techniques and the teacher architecture teaches the students to recognize some patterns and Finally, he improves the previous results. And finally, Allender generates new, a new space and a transformative space and transformate an image into a new one using that transformation into the space. So with this method, he is trying to generate new samples and he got some interesting results. However, we have Jan's techniques. For example, Saken Tsuneki presented an interesting review of many methods used instead of the art to generate new samples using generative adversarial networks. Karras proposed a new discriminator to basically generate better images in order to improve a data set. Uh, Wu presents a framework for classification that consists on three phases. The first one is the classification phase. The second one is the generation of synthetic data and use the previous interesting data in the synthetic data to retrain the model. That's an interesting perspective. Macaquin present a GAN model to generate synthetic samples for malignant urine horology and analyze the generated results. Macaquin gave us a global outlook about the problem because he talked about the generation of samples that could be improbable in the real life and another travels that we can face when we start to work with synthetic data. Well, main actors. There are many interesting conferences, for example, medical image computing and computer assisted intervention, International Symposium of Major Medical Imaging, SPIA, Medical Imaging, International Conference on Big Data, Machine Learning and Medical Imaging, Symposium on Applying Computing, International Conference, Software Testing, Verification and Validation, the American Medical Informatic Association, Annual Symposium, the International Conference in Biomedical and Biomedicine, 
the International Conference on Healthcare Informatics, the Parallel Problem Solving from Nature, the International Conference on System, Man and Cybernetics, and Information Processing and Medical Imaging. Well, many researchers, many interesting papers and some interesting authors. And here in this table, we have the impact that the author has in our community. There are many, many interesting papers that I studied until now. But the main researcher groups. We have in this small table some of the most interesting researcher groups. Here we have the MIG lab which is located in Campinas, Sao Paulo, the Biomedical Imaging Group in Switzerland, the Computer Vision and Imaging Group in Scotland, UK, and Imaging Science in Manchester, UK. But principal consequence is like the image. Well, this is um, basically a, an image of a tissue that is usually captured by an scanner. However, we can have many images, different images, just changing the calibration color of the scanner. This is a problem because many researchers has troubles to process the, the same image with different color, basically. But another interesting concept is the generative adversion network. This is a framework, it's a set of two architectures, a generator and a discriminator. That architecture share a probability space. So the generator has to generate an element into the probability space and the discriminator take this element, this new element, and calculate the error, basically, in order to optimize this objective function. Well, metrics and evaluation. Here we have the building blocks to build and measure and a statistic and measure a metric between the generated elements or the results. Well, we have some small building blocks that are the true positive, false positive, true negative, false negative. So these indicators allow us to create new interesting metrics such as accuracy, error rate, recall, and precision. However, that is not all what I have to measure, what I have to measure, the results. We have measures more complex, such as F measure. We have here that the F measure represents the harmonic weight of the precision and recall. Well, that kind of measure allow us to measure the results in a better way. However, we can use the specificity, sensitivity, jacquard index, and dice coefficient to measure the, the results obtained in any step of the process. In addition to evaluate the result, we can use procure that is achieved by the calculation of true positive rate versus the false positive rate. Methodology. As you can see in the previous slide, we will use the CAT architecture for breast cancer detection. So we propose to use the next six steps. The first one is the selection of database or collect raw data. The second one is preprocessing and normalization of the selected database. The third one is the region of interest extraction. 
The first one is the feature structure. The fifth one is the train, test, validate the models for WSA segmentation. And finally, analysis and validation results. As the first step, we have to decide the data set that we will use for this project. We have many interesting data sets and some of them are available to download. However, as we can see, the most interesting one here is the associated one to the breast cancer. Here we have a small table with the databases available for download. In the step of preprocessing and normalization, we have to generate new samples in order to basically improve the data the data set quality. So to do that, we propose to use the next steps. Select training and test data, data preprocessing and normalization. In this step, we are going to generate new samples and include some of them into the data sets, basically. Well, to achieve this, we propose the next steps. First, select a interesting GANs architecture. The second one is generate synthetic elements. The third step is evaluate and select some interesting samples and finally integrate that new samples into our data set. Train, test and validate models. With the previous steps, we propose how to build a new data set in order to fix the distribution of patterns problems. So, we have to test these new data sets. To do that, we will train some artificial intelligence architectures in order to establish if the model achieve an interesting result. For do that, we will use some measures such as die similarity coefficients, F1 matrix, cross-validation, and others. For example, here we have the time similarity coefficient. Expected results and limitations. As an expected result, we want to develop a methodology that allows us to evaluate and include some synthetic samples into our data set in order to improve the, the precision achieved by a neural network focused on segment WSA images. The main limitations are the first one, I need to get a better understanding of how GAN's neural network works, basically, and how it can generate aggregated data the second limitation is identify the existing methodology that allow us the generation of consistent data to improve the data set qualities. And the third one is develop an environment, a physical environment that enables us to develop a largest neural network models. Well, this is an interesting point because the neural network has um, an interesting requirements such as a good computer to develop uh, larger models. But finally here we can show some of my references and thank you.